CNS ATM is about determining the airspace capacity by the combined capabilities of communication, navigation, surveillance and air traffic management. These include ground and air-based systems and requirements that vary according to airspace type. There are regulations and aircraft equipment mandates to support CNS ATM, including performance-based navigation PBN, mode S transponders and automatic dependent surveillance broadcast ADSB. These provide the navigation and surveillance capability to improve air traffic management. All aircraft on the Australian Register operating IFR must now be equipped with Global Navigation Satellite Systems GNSS, including those with multi-sensor navigation systems. The communication element of CNS ATM is evolving. Emerging technology is enabling more use of data link communications in lieu of the legacy VHF and HF voice systems. However, for most operations, the primary means of communication will continue to be VHF and HF voice. Air navigation in continental airspace is transitioning from conventional ground-based radio navigation aids to performance-based navigation PBN. In Australia, the PBN implementation is based on GNSS and is also being used in oceanic regions. GNSS-based ADSB technology is adding to the legacy radar-based solutions to increase the area of Australia that's covered by surveillance. Another technology that's being employed in some parts of Australia is multilateration, a system that uses the existing transponder installation in aircraft and a network of ground receivers to determine an aircraft's position by triangulation. Currently, all aircraft operating IFR in Australia are being progressively fitted with ADSB equipment. This mandate will be completed by the 2nd of February 2020.